Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, and I haven't seen you for a while. I'm not really sure when I'm going to be able to get this uploaded as I'm trying out a new thing. I don't have Miss Bean, my trusted videographer, with me, and I'm going to try to, in the spirit of new learning, upload this at some point so that everyone can see it. I just wanted to offer my congratulations to the newest group of Hinsdale High School alumni who graduated last night. Everyone here at Hinsdale Elementary School wishes you the best in everything that you do as you go on through life. You've managed this crisis and you've reached your goal, so I'm confident that things are going to work out. All right, let's rise and do the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I don't know about everybody else's garden, but as I predicted, this spring our garden is doing really well. I should say gardens. We have a flower garden that is in full bloom and beautiful. And we also have a great vegetable garden. It won't be long. We'll be having our fresh vegetables every day. I can't wait. And now it's time for the corny joke. I don't have a word for today, but I have a corny joke or two. This one comes from a book that Marcy in grade two, well, now grade three, gave to me. It was always nice to see her stop by school with her mom. They would bring gifts for the teachers and different things. And we'd have to have them let them sit out in the lobby for a little while, but then we'd be able to share them with the teachers. And she also gave me a box of chocolates. The only thing that could have been better would have been cake. Which reminds me, I do have a lot of June birthdays that I'm going to be catching up on at some point. Anyway, here's the joke. It's a truly a great one. Did the skunk, did the skunk family have a good vacation? I don't know, Mr. Pocchio. Did it? No, it stunk. That's when people would be laughing, but I don't know how to do that. Mrs. Miss Bean didn't teach me. Don't like that negativity of that joke? Well, try this one out. How about the owl family? Did it have a good vacation? I don't know, Mr. Bogio. Did it? Yes, it was a hoot. Get it? I love those corny jokes. Well, you should be getting your report card soon if you haven't already. And the teachers have been really busy since the end of the school year for you. Right after report cards went out, the planning for next year began. Uh, it's been said many times since mid-March, but I have to give some uh, kudos and props to our staff and the para support staff as well. Uh, they've just been amazing throughout all this. Uh, when you work side by side with them, their desire to provide the best education for our children in Hinsdale is something that you can actually feel. It takes on physical attributes. During the last seven or so days, they've wept, laughed, faced the fear and anxiety of the unknown, joined together, gotten stuck and had to walk away from it, brainstormed solutions to keep going, been knocked down, stepped up to help each other, and got back up again. I never want to go through a something like this ordeal again. However, I did learn a lot about people during it, especially the people I work with, and that includes all of them, every single one. They all have demonstrated that they care, and as the saying goes, kids don't care what you know until they know you care. And we certainly do have, and have demonstrated that. Well, I'll be seeing you again soon, and hopefully I can get this uploaded in a timely manner. Have a great day, and until next time, so long.